So this stream is going to be to level up our Peko so he can fight for himself. And that's about it for this. So it'd be a lot of grinding. <sighs> Just make sure that we don't lose anyone. And, and maybe we'll, and we'll also get the Toga PA and have possibly have that hatch. And then I'll just be the end of it. Let's see. We can, we're not gonna be using this Connor. So first thing first is to go to the Pokemon Mart because we had a phone call from Professor Elm stating that the egg is about his assistant having an egg lock and no seed breaks. I've been ready for this from Professor Elm. You know, so we would like to just take care of an egg. Well, if you can trust me with it, I guess I'll do it. Or see the eight. One second. Make sure everything's working. Okay, everything's After you left, Professor Elmer received a phone call. I have no idea what they're talking about. After a while, Professor Elmer said, I can't think of anyone more suited to Bryce. <laughs> you know? I don't know. He must not know very many people, but he's too busy dealing with his Pokemon. Probably just knows Mr. Pokemon, Professor Oak, my mom. That's about it. Who knows? Then he sits that hand to say to you. That's how I came here to deliver the aid to you. Since I have Pokemon hatch from it, only when you keep it in your part of your Pokemon. Okay? I understand that. It's gonna take quite a while too. Because we don't have flame body or any of that stuff. Which will decrease the time that uh a hatch and hatch. That's the reason we chose new brass. Please take care of it. Okay. Let's see how much monies we have. We can get so much pokeballs. Want want to have ten. It would take about three of these. We don't want to be taught in any sort of statuses. We have plenty of potions, so we just can make sure. Ice. That's not a big. That's the most annoying one, but we have our 14 hem, which is a centipedal, which will be able to get rid of that easily. These are useful. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, let's level up this pitch. You do level nine. At least that's when we'll get Gus. Oh, who's that? I mean, oh my, that eight must be. Let's see, so it's handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm. Then from Professor Elm to you? Now I get it. Yep, that's what happened. That egg is truly an important egg. Please take good care of it for me. Okay, I will. It's understand. Yeah, I understand. I understand what I have to do to care an egg. I'm not just gonna throw it on the ground or anything. I've hatched many eggs before for all my breeding experience.
three experiences. Captain, I know what I'm doing, man. You can count on me. Okay, let's get this Pidgey up. The importance of this is uh, our rival Stotodile. Both of our other Pokemon we leveled up 14 him and Neo Geoff are both weak to it. So we have to make sure our third party member is strong. Strong enough for it in this nice lock to take it down. Especially Especially And we got the Ruse TM from taking down Faulkner Which will help us a ton You know the spawn rates are really I don't think it This is a the roost is a good move for healing, so. We mostly only learn by bird, flying type Pokemon, mostly. There's other Pokemon that we use. So, definitely something we want to have. Let's see. Well. Oh. Our starter is going to evolve soon, so we want to prioritize that over Geoff for sure. Even though this might take a while for our before our pigeon becomes useful. But it'll be worth it. I mean, we don't want to take any chances and I don't want to waste experience points farther in the game on uh, getting a level 2 Pokemon up. We're gonna use our Drew dude this time. Since he resists this. <sighs> Sorry. I'm in a different kind of mood today. There's no point raising our speed if he's just gonna use Cricket Attack with the third. Our rock throw has been missing like a while. I'm not sure if it's 90% accuracy or a 90% chance of missing. But uh, it's usually. Wow, man, he's so strong. It's insane the strength on this thing. And I'll probably teach it Roost right now. Working. Okay. I feel alright. And this should be a one hit KO if uh, our Geodude Rock Throw can take it down or work it down inside. Number should. I think it's stronger. I know Geoff is uh, adamant, but I think the side special attack is. Well, no. I guess Jeff's attack stronger than working his special attack. Okay. Check our bag. Let's teach us to our pitch. You should be able to learn it. There you go. I'm, the reason I'm using this particular pitch is because it's only one of my three pitches that doesn't have a speed decreasing nature. And speed is like the most important stat, in my opinion, for a pitchy. Pitchy up. Even though one's brave and not racing tank, speed, speed's most important. For sure. 
Oh. So I mean, I made sure. So. I'm not going to do any uh, fast forwarding or anything because this needs to feel as authentic as possible. For the dead times, random grinding. Let's see, he's level four. Pretty soon, a couple more levels. I, I'm so our farking him's gonna evolve into Quill Hub pretty soon. The excitement, man. I did two of the most I can do is four. And then you get two attacks off. So. But all mods are safe. There's no chance of really of any of them dying. Hey, sand attack, we're gonna be annoying. Looks like there's really only Raditus here. No, we could fight it ourselves now. So we have Roos, let's see. There it goes. Ah, it's a 3 account. Yeah. Let's see. That's a 6 hit KO. So we're, we're at ending ball. Very good. Yeah, this should be faster now. You can kill him off himself, and Peko's strong, just like, just like he is in ping pong day animation, which I recommend. Just keeps learning, man. Comes a piece of come number one. Take down anyone through prior work. Tried to care too. At speed. We're gonna even a quick crit quick attack from that range will kill us, I don't think. Even with minus one defense, maybe that's a little risky. We're safe. Okay, we're level six now. Of three more levels or so, and this guy's good to go on the team. Okay, now it's two hit KO. See, see, the thing I'm worried about the tail whip setup is to do tail whip into a quick attack crit. But that should do six. I should do like nine. And we'll do it all. But that's still something to worry about here. We're doing a little grinding. Do a tackle. Oh, he has a chill and beard. Well, we're actually gonna run. So, but there be extra safe in those lockers here. The thing that's most worse out is our lowering our defense, and then getting landing crits. So that's the most scary thing. That's the scariest thing in this. 
Believe it or not. Let's just spam tackle some more. It's a three hit kill. That's four. I only do crit with your eight here. I think we should time to guess all seven. So just two more levels on the tech go here. This is just a short, this is gonna be a really short screen today. Decided for Ogretar, Pokepen has that in a bag, made a, a Facebook, a pool on a Facebook page, so just like, Garrett, no way he can lose, no way, it's not impossible, man. Oh god. That's six, okay, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to, a crit will kill us. A quick quick attack will kill us. So I have to switch to Jeff. Tackle has higher accuracy. I'm gonna use a potion on the Pidgey to be safe. Because if we try to use Roost, they didn't get a quick quick attack on us or something. That could be the end of Mr. Peko here. That's not what we want to happen. Two more levels where you get our flying stab. You know it's special. Special attack move, not physical, and our Peko has a higher higher physical attack. By a slight margin. It's not like either is either is high. So that's not the case at all. I did this have to do some job surfing actually. <sighs> Crit would be like 12. How much would this do? Double tail whip quick. That'll, that'll kill us actually. Double tail whip quick attack crit will kill us. So I'll double the 12 to 24. That's not. Let's see. You have to expect the worst in these things. And you can't expect the best outcome. You have to make zero risks. It's just like in a competitive Pokemon. I mean, it don't, there's no reason to make hard reads if it's not worth. Just for the sake of uh, doing it, you have to notice your win conditions. Let's see. And you also, most of the time, you don't want to rely on the low accuracy moves. I mean, they just try guaranteeing. Victory, have it all playing in your head. That's a key to being a Pokemon Master. Which lamb? Am. Lamb and Pokemon Master. And also a Calc Girl, not really, just kidding. Please don't watch Sorge Calc Girl on YouTube. Please do not. It's become a meme, my Smash scene. 
that's something to guess. One more level. Okay. Wonder how long this stream's gonna be. We have 17 PP left on our tackles. This will be done shortly. I need to clarify it. Uh, I need to clarify that the tackle accuracy is 95. Yeah. Just a few more, three, uh, two, two or three more. Oh, then we're gonna get out of here. And chill, we'll watch Pokepen win Obertar. After we do some private things. Oh no, Hanukkah. Can we miss? If we miss in there, we run. I'm teaching you guys how to properly level grind. There's no reason to fast forward. That's the stupidest thing you can actually do. You have to take. No, if we win this, we might. or do eight. I'll do eight so we get the hell out of here. Send in our gift because he resists that. You're in charge, Jeff. Oh god, it's doubled down our defense. That doesn't matter. Let's see, how much would it crit, crit? I still only do like four, because it only doubles it, so. Don't want to waste too many potions on Pinchy, but you know, I just will right now. It's not too big of a deal. I don't want to waste too much time either. Hey, either. Oh. Man, how am I doing? Let's go, Alpaca. Let's go. Okay, one more. One more, and it, that will never come. Just getting here, though. The fated battle between Pekko and Doradica. You will come on top. Neither. Jaff will. <laughs> oh no, he's lowering our defense. Rock polish so we have speed. There's no reason not to make sure we have speed. Actually there is because he's going to use quick attack. Well, rip us. We're stupid now. 
see. Oh, we got this too, let's see. Oh, it's crit rolling. Let me eat one. Hey, let's see. Learn. Just. Okay, there we go. We got it. We got our standing. And we got Jeff up a little bit too. We don't want to level up our Cyntoquil on this stream. So how disappointed will it be if do my wonderful viewers if I evolve 14 him on this short little grinding stream? That's only being streamed so people know this is legitimate and I'm not cheating this Nuzlocke. It would be very unfortunate. But, once we get the Pokemon Center, this will be the end. Let's order the team. Okay, we got a good Pidgey that's useful. We got our Jeff, and we got 14 of them. So our Tasty Nature, Adam Nature, and Corky, which is Neutral Nature. This is a plus B, minus Defense Nature, which is pretty good. Adamant's the best nature possible for our Neo Jeff and Corky. That's, that's decent. We got our stats. Well, our defense is pretty low. We have good, everything's pretty well rounded. We got our fire stab and our priority move. Two stat lowering moves. And here we have our Rock Stab, our speed increasing move. Rock Stab, two stat increasing moves and Rock Polish which doubles our speed and defense. Uh, defense core which raises our defense by one, one stage each time. And this uh, tackle trip, we don't want to move, we'll probably get rid of. It's pretty much useless. <sighs> Cause what it hits neutral, mostly, don't eat Rock throw well too, besides like ground types. I guess it's decent. And then here we have our physical stab, no more stab, which is physical. Our special stab, which is a flying type move. This is normal type moves, we have normal type and flying type stab. Our helium move and our annoying ass sand attack. So we're good, we have. Tangled feet. That not key and I. So that's good for being annoying. We have stern, which doesn't work properly in this. It only works against Fisher. Then we have Blade, which is the only ability you can get. Okay. Our other Pokemon are just father, man. We have to, to keep their brothers safe. Brothers and sisters? What do I need to know? Yeah, we have three males. Brothers safe. Man, I'm not sexist, man. I, I didn't mean to. This is just a coincidence that the fe females aren't being used. I have no intention. That's not intentional. Okay. Thank you all for tuning in. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Oh, what will be? Will be filled with at more action and excitement, and hopefully, hopefully, a full healthy team and no deaths. All right, later.